Yes, so greetings, greetings, greetings to you all, fellow Biafrans, lovers of freedom, people with good art, people with good will. Yeah, this is Onajite Higo. Onajite Higo is from the coastal region of Biafra land. Of course, Onajite Higo, he is an Izon and Urobo speaking Biafran. Yeah, as you're joining me, this very afternoon, I will encourage you to encourage others to be here as well. Uh, like you all know, and if you all seen, this is the Coastal Biafran Television. So this is the voice of the coastalers in Biafran land. This is the voice of coastalers in Biafran land. And uh, of course, uh, we will continue to do what we know how to do best. And um, as we proceed, before we proceed, uh, we are going to uh, quickly go for our national anthem. Of course, I have some of our comrades who will be joining me as well. But uh, before then, we have to proceed. We must continue because uh, nothing, this is a moving train. This is a project of Okutamono. Of course, a project of Chukokika Biyama and we must continue so as we're moving uh, let me quickly um, go for the national anthem then we proceed <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Greetings to you all, fellow Biafrans, lovers of freedom, people of goodwill. Of course, I'm here live and direct with my comrades. Um, the person of, um, I have here the person of, um, um, I think they should do the introduction by themselves while I give them the mic. Quickly, uh, my sister, take the mic and introduce yourself to Biafrans who are watching all over the world. Um, I think good morning. Uh, okay, go ahead. Yeah, good morning, good afternoon, fellow beer friends, and good evening. Depends on where you are at this hour of the day. This is the face of Biafra Ejiro. I am an robo 
Okwe speaking Biafra from Ugeli, Delta State in Biafra land. We welcome you to this program. Thank you very much. All hail Biafra. All hail Biafra. Thank you very much, my sister Ejiro. Um, thank you very much. Of course, quickly, let me go to my brother here who is in the studio with us as well. Please take the mic and introduce yourself, please. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Anywhere you are watching us, I am Solomon Singba by name. I'm a Biafran. I am from the Igbake speaking uh, Biafra, that is the Igbo speaking Biafra from Edo State and Agbo. Thank you very much. God bless you. Of course, thank you so much, my brother Solomon Asimba. Yeah, live and direct. We are here in the studio, and this is the Coastal Biafran TV. The Coastal Biafran TV is a TV where the people in the coastal region of Biafra speak as one, where the people from the coastal region of Biafra speak as a team, as a region, people who have a say in this very project of Biafra. Of course, before we proceed, we are going to pray because Oputamono Ogene Chukokika Biama he is our beginner. And of course, when our leader had this call, this call of duty, when the when Oputamono called in, of course, they have a relationship. So the, the, the foundation of this very calling, the foundation of this very project, under the leadership of IPOB, with our leader, it is with Oputamono. So we cannot do anything without involving him. So please quickly turn the mic, my sister Ejiro. Open us, give us a very opening prayer, a very short opening prayer, so that we can proceed. Thank you. Heavenly Father, King of glory, I am that I am, Elohim, the Most High God. We, your children, have come once more again to discuss about the, the, the nation, Biafra, that you have given to us. In Tana Rock of Ages, Ancient of days, we call upon your name because we have no other one to call upon. For you to come and take perfect control of our lives, we bring our supreme leader in your hands, we bring Biafra land in your hands, we bring Biafrans all over the world in your hands, especially our people in Biafra land that are being tormented, being maltreated, being killed, cold-blooded father we are asking that you go and fight the battle for us father we believe and trust in you there is nothing you cannot do whatever we are going through today father we know that at the end we will all rejoice and give glory to your name fight this battle fight our enemies fight the janjaweeds we ask that you protect mazun namdikanu give him good health and we bring ipob in your hands we pray for your unity your 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 understanding, your wisdom, so that we all will be able to work together as one family. Thank you, Father. We bring this program in your hands. Whatever we are going to discuss today, let our people absorb it and let us speak according to your will. In Chuko Kikabiyama's name, we pray. He said, he said, he said, he said, thank you. Thank you very, very much, my sister. Um, of course, we must proceed. And as we are proceeding, um, we are going to discuss the, uh, the things that are very important to us as a Biafran, especially as a Costana, because um, firstly, um, we have to um, let the zoo understand. We have to pass our own message from our own view to the zoo government. So um, they should understand that we all are Biafran. And um, if they refuse, if they refuse to release our leader, Mazen Amdikano, or should I say, if they refuse to present him in court, if they refuse to present him in court, it is not going to go well with them. And then uh, exactly what our HOD have said, that is exactly what we're going to do, not just only in the interland. We are going to make sure we enforce it as well in the coastal region of Biafra land, because this kind of, um, 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 uh, the, the enemy are now trying to make it look 
as if their insinuation, their, their, their thought is real. Their thought about, about the struggle. Their thought about saying uh, the, 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 the struggle belongs or the struggle, the only in the, uh, the, the interland are the only people involved in the struggle. We want them to understand this time. We want them to know this time that we all are BFM. We all are involved in this very struggle. Quickly, let me go straight to my sister, um, OAG Ro. You are going to you know, share your own view concerning this very particular issue. Letting the enemy to understand your own perception concerning the situation on ground. Please take the mic and um, share your view. Thank you very much, uh, my brother. Um, the zoo, the, the zoo called the Nigeria, the Zoological Republic called Nigeria, they have biting more than they can chew. They have come to, to the end of the road. Now, uh, I'm very happy with uh, what they did because I believe anything that happens, happens for a reason. So the fact that they took uh, our Supreme Leader, they kidnapped him, and uh, before, maybe when people, when we, we've been crying, saying that uh, the Zoo government is a, a terrorist government, uh, maybe they may not believe us. But now, it is not known to the uh, international community that truly the Zoo government has committed a crime against humanity. The extraordinary rendition is a proof that the Zoo government is a terrorist government. Now, I'm very happy that the DOS have come up with a very strong strategy, the strategy of uh, one month sitting at home if eventually they fail to bring our Supreme Leader to court. It is not done anywhere that you took somebody, you accused somebody uh, who is not found guilty of all the accusation. And since this man has been in their captivity for over three months, if I've seen, I think it's since Ju uh, June, up to this moment, they have not been able to 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 label him. I mean, to bring a proof, a concrete proof of all their allegations. They have been toiling with us. They have been playing a ping pong games, and we know exactly the kind of game they are playing. They are trying to push us to the limit to see how what we can do. And I'm very glad because. The strategy we are using now is kind of uh, diplomatic because we don't want our people to, to be killed uh, messlessly or and with, with negligence. So now that uh, DOS have given this uh, order that if it is, it is it is an order, that if they refuse to bring our Supreme Leader because we want to see him, we want to see him, it's, it's been long, we, we, have, we, have, we are missing him so much. We have not been hearing his, we, we want to hear his voice live. We want to see him in court. We, now, we are not talking about them releasing him immediately. We want to see him. There is no way they can keep this man for, away from our sight. We want to see him. And this particular uh, court day, uh, time that is coming to court on the 31st is going to be a very brutal one if eventually they toy with us, if eventually they refuse to bring him to court. We are not missing words. The order has been given and everyone is going to implement it. In diaspora here, we have our own way of, uh, you know, uh, venting out our, our anger. We, we have our own way. Why those in Biafra land, they are going to do the needful by sitting at home. Eventually, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be implemented. There is no two ways about it. There is no time the leadership of IPOB give an order that is not being implemented. The people back home, they know exactly how to apply all these orders. They know how, exactly how to apply this law. So Nigeria government, if you are hearing us right now, we know you all follow our broadcast. You watch everything that we do. We are giving you a very sound warning that if you refuse to do the needful, if you refuse to bring our supreme leader to our site, if you refuse, if you continue to keep him away from us, we are going to make sure we, Im we implement the one month sit at home. There is, there, nobody can negotiate this with us. So I want to appreciate the leadership, the DOS, Mazichi Kaidoziem, for coming out to announce this order. And I believe that the Nigerian government, the terrorist government, they are aware of it. They know the consequences. So they will not dare to, to keep our, our Supreme Leader away from us this time around. That is all I have to say. It's a sound warning to them, so I'm sure they are aware of it. Thank you very much. All here, Biafra. 
of course, Biafra Hildy. Thank you so much, my sister Ejiro. Yeah, quickly, let me go to my brother um, Solomon Asimba. But before going to Solomon Asimba, Ejiro mentioned something which I would also like you to touch, my brother Solomon. He said, it has been long we heard from our leader. You know, the, the, the voice of Mazen Namdekanu is a strength alone in the lives of every Biafran. Even the enemy can testify. They admire him in the secret. They admire him. Those who are calling for his hell, for, for his head to be cut off. Those who are seeking for his life to be cut short. They are also admiring this very man. They are also admiring this very great man. But they don't understand one thing. That the more you take it away from us, it's like you, you, you are about to take our life away from us. And once you are trying to take our life away from us, we will fight with everything we have, with everything we got, to make sure that our life is being secured. And that is exactly the point that our sister just raised, that is very, very touching. And the zoo must understand this. Please, my brother, Solomon Asimba, take the mic and share your own view, or should I say, your thoughts on this very particular issue. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. You know, <clears throat> um, not just uh, the Biafran, our Supreme Leader Mazin and the Kalum, a voice is a voice of wisdom, not just for the Biafran alone, for the world at large. Even both the blacks in America, the whites in Europe, everybody, they are always listening to our leader to get wisdom. The voice of wisdom is Mazin. He say it the way he is. Did not play politics with nothing. It will tell you the way it. If it did not, if it's not understanding, it will tell you this is not understanding. Not like all those world leaders that is playing politics with people's life, with their citizen, with uh, uh, you know, you play politics with what you don't need to play politics with. You know, our leader will tell you the way it is. So the whole world is missing our leader voice because we. It's been long we heard from the wisdom for him that God has given him, not only to free Biafra, because of the wisdom our leader has imparted into the world. That's why everybody is trying to free itself out of colonialism. That's why Oduduwa rise up. That's why people are rising up in Africa, over in Europe. Nobody want to be under any control of anybody because they see we are born freely. No man has the right to say is your is 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 your master in this world. Slave trade have ended for very long, and the zoo know this. And let me tell you, let me be clear with you. You know what the zoo is trying to do? They are trying to prepare war. That's why they are bringing military, trying to make us to fight premature war, to so that they can see something. So back on 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 the twenty first of the uh, court hearing that this is the reason. That's why you see military, um, um, the government sponsoring terrorism in Biafra land, killing, burning of houses, military. They are just trying to show to make us to like let us start let us start the war. This thing should not end peacefully because the Zoom does not want they don't want it to look peaceful. But unfortunately that IPOB is too intelligent. The leader of IPOB they are too intelligent because they observe there is a time for everything. There is a time they open the Bible go to Ecclesiastes chapter three verse one. See there is a time for war and a time for peace. There is a time to defend and a time to observe. And this time we are is to observe them because the Janjaweed have scrutin out men wearing uni military uniform and the one they can recruit, the governor, because they don't want this, their corrupt mentality to end. They don't want this construction called Nigeria to end so that their children, only them, they can be rich. So what they are doing, they are just trying to bring war, killing innocent people, tagging them, is ESN, is this, is that, so that we will, we will be provoked and um, do something. Then at the end of the day, they will tell us, uh, because of this, uh, uh, our leader, you can't you see, can't you see, they are just looking for something to hold our leader. They have no proof. But one thing is clear, and which they also know, that it will not be business as usual after on 21st. 
if our leader, the needful, is not be done, it's not business as usual, then you will see the other side of defend yourself and take over your land. You understand? You will see the other side of Biafra. This is not only uh, sit at home. No. We will para every um, democratic procedure in Biafra land. We paralyze it. It will be just Biafra and Biafra alone. The governor will not have voice anymore. They will not even move. After on the 21st, they are game. We will play the card with them. So, depend on the card they play. If they bring our leader to court and fear hearing is being, uh, we, we, uh, the whole world, because this is a high profile case, everybody wants to see, the whole world wants to know. If you say somebody is being, you accuse somebody of a crime, you have to bring it to the judge. And you have to bring evidence. This is what the Zoom is running from. Because they know, first of all, they are um, guilty of their own case. First of all, you take him into the country illegally by kidnapping. It's an offense to open the government of Nigeria. This is what they are running from. That's why you see how they are preparing war. They want to divide the game. But unfortunately, IPOB is too intelligent. I'll thank God for our, uh, our DOS, the leader of the DOS, that stood now and speak. Because now we have seen that they are using the churches and every other means to get their way. Now we have we knew our enemy. Our enemy is close with us, and they are trying to like make it a uh, uh, this is an um, the interland thing. It's not from the coast to no. It is for everybody. We are all Biafrans. We are all Biafran. They should go back to the old coastal, the old um, Biaf um, 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 eastern region. The map of the old eastern region. We are all involved. Uh, so we are waiting on twenty. First of this month, then you will see the face of that Zoom operation. Still, what are they are seeing? They want to see. They cannot even see anything after twenty first. They will see the other face of us. But I pray they should use their brain to do the needful, so that everything will be we go on peacefully, without stress. But if they want the other way, we'll give them the other way. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, my brother Solomon Asimba. Thank you so much for that analysis. Um, going further, we we should um, also know that our brother, our elder, the elders that we respect in the Afro land, the 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 kidnap in just as usual the, the way they normally do, and uh, they have done it again. The person of Chinwe Taluagu, um, this vitarian actor. It's not just an actor. It, it, it is a somebody who has been fruiting um, slice of joy, happiness, with all the depression, with all the frustration, with every garbage that they force into our throat in the contraption called nigger area. These people are the ones giving us joy, helping us not to just to make sure that most of us did not die in depression. Most of us did not die with should, should, should I say, you know, this, this this set of people have been helping us. And he is a very well respectable somebody. He is a very well, well respected uh, uh, human personality in Biafra line. What has he, what um, does, uh, 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 in, in fact, I don't even know how to put this word. How does putting on clothes? Putting on clothes, how does it concern? When does it start? Uh, should I say, how did it happen to be an offense? Putting on ordinary costume, putting on costume, how did he reduce and um, this full of me, ginger weed, and uh, the drilling of our oil, drilling of our of our resources in Biafra? Land? Now, what you put on in Biafra land now is not a problem to you. Biafra, Nigeria, the zoo, the, 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 zoo, the Zoological Republic of Nigeria has not become a secret court, a courtesy, whereby when you put on a red beret, this one will say you don't fly my color. When you put on a, a blue beret, this one will say you don't fly my color. When you put on black, this one will say you don't fly my color. They will start to ask you who goes you. 
Now, this is the same thing happening in this, you know, this, when I don't, I think um, I will start addressing this uh, zoo. I will start addressing them as a jungle. This jungle called N N Nigeria. It is a jungle. There is coordination in the zoo. There is coordination in the zoo. But in jungle, you will see where the wider animal consuming the, the lesser one for them to be able to live. And this is exactly what is going on in the zoo. Chiwe Taluagu was as he was first of all uh, arrested by the zoological Janjaweed and uh, 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 how do I call them? The the the, the, the jungle uh, 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 lawless um, army of the zoological republic of Nigeria. They said our leader don't say he said don't resist the name. He don't say I said zoological republic. He fit that one the sweet to pronounce your mouth. But um, we know for our mind say the Nigerian jungle. So it was past, past zoo. So now the first kidnapping, molest him. This is, a, this is an elder statement. Can you do the same thing you're doing for Chiwe Taluabu? Can you do it to Sultan of Shokoto? That idiot putting up the street or tower on his head. Can you do the same thing to him? Absolutely no, you can't because you know you won't. You dare not. They now have the gods. They come into Biafran land. They pick up anybody, anybody of their choice. They, they molest them, they dehumanize them the way they want. That is the stage we are now as a people. And the world are still keeping quiet. The world are still keeping mute. Concerning this very situation, concerning this dehumanization situation, we are in Biafran land. We are in Biafran land, under the zoological republic, the active zoological republic of Niger area. And we are saying no to this. Please, uh, my sister, quickly um, share your thoughts. And because we should also remember that after it was released, now <laughs> the, 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 the big dog, the big pig, they are not dogs because they are toothless. They cannot do him anything. They can't do him anything. The, the DSS now repeat him again. He's not in DSS dungeon as we speak. And he must be released. He must be released. They have, they have picked him again. And we are demanding for his unconditional release because putting on clothes, putting on cos co costume. He's not, he's not holding guns. He did not go after full and eat ginger weed. Who are parading with AK-47? Who are parading with... Uh, they are now even working with RPG. Full and eat ginger weed. They are now working with RPG. Please, for me not to take our time, my sister, Ejiro, take the mic and share your thoughts on this. Yeah, thank you very much. It's a very pathetic situation that we cannot uh, continue to live with it. We cannot uh, continue to live with it. I was very surprised when I saw that video. I was shocked, you know. Uh, I, I thought he has been released uh, definitely. I didn't know that they've picked him up. I'm just hearing that for the first time uh, from you now. It's very sad. And uh, I believe that they're going to release him. And uh, I don't really know why they were. They went back to pick him up. So now uh, what I have to say about this is that there is no way. It doesn't happen anywhere in the world. It doesn't happen. I could remember when uh, the, the, there was a terrorist attack in France in uh, 2015, and uh, the, the French government, uh, they were trying to uh, to ban uh, the wearing of hijab, hijab uh, in, uh, in schools, in public places, because some of these people, they hide uh, the, the disguise with, the, with this uh, hijab, you know. So, But it didn't work. You can't stop somebody from dressing uh, the way he or she wants to dress. That is that is his own dressing code. He is very proud to wear what he was wearing. The man was not looking, he was not naked. He was not naked. He was covering his body with something that he felt it makes him happy. So my for sister, you to even if it, somebody... even, my, sorry, my sister, for interrupting you. Even if he's naked, Nadia, Nadia nakedness. Nadia, no, no, this. you know, if he's naked, they might say that he's trying to, you know, people, uh, people around is not even here. You cannot uh, go out naked, you know. So I'm just saying that according to the law, you cannot walk naked outside. So the man was well covered. 
that that uh, attire he was wearing is, is the 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 biafra uh, flag so it means that if somebody should use the zo green white green to to sew a kind of agbada or a kaftan they are going to harass the person is that what they are trying to tell us of course no so why is the biafra flag why is it different what makes it different the thing that makes it different in the eyes of the janja which is that they are seeing a divinity in the flag of biafra whenever they see the black the flag of biafra they they they, they get confused they are not they never themselves so when if you look at she uh, went very well despite the fact that he was around he, he was in the midst of people holding guns the man was fearless he was even bold to say that but this is the rising sun of course he, he, he was he was voicing at that he, he knows exactly what he was saying he was he was you know he was being pushed by a divine force to speak he was saying this is the rising sun can anybody uh, stop the sun from rising it's not possible okay now i want to ask janja with a, a, a question can you change the position of the sun can you change the position of the sun i am taking biafra as the rising sun as the sun that is positioned in the sky if you know you cannot change the position of the sun in the sky what makes you think that you can stop biafras from excelling from becoming who they truly are you cannot so no matter how hard you try no matter how you try to humiliate them to make them look feel as if they are not humans you are wasting your time the only day the, the day you will go to the sky and change the position of the sun that is the only time you can be able to uh, to to succeed in oppressing biafra if you cannot do that forget it there is no way biafra is the rising sun chiwetalagu sent a very strong message to the nigeria government that this is the rising sun you cannot stop it you cannot stop me from wearing it i'm sure the reason why they decided to pick him back because he was still wearing that attire and now i am even encouraging our people in diaspora to come to this is the period people who are not even wearing it before they should look for the biafra t-shirt the Bia, everything that has to do with biafra and biafranize yourself make sure you biafranize yourself wherever you are going for a meeting you are going for a protest you have to wear it nigeria government you have failed woefully look at the person that you picked look at the person that you you try to humiliate this man is a celebrity name it and what was he doing at the time he was picked up he was doing charity charitable job he was giving food free bread to people and they didn't bother about this they took him and abandoned the bread that he was giving to people what did jesus did when he came he fed the multitude with bread and fish exactly what she was doing and they picked him up because he was very something uh you know that they didn't like what is it that you don't like in the biafra flag what is it is it a sun you want to oppress it you want to suppress it you cannot suppress the sun from rising you cannot stop it there is a force that is moving with this name biafra you cannot the the, the western world they've done everything possible to assist nigeria in 1967 to 1970 they did they weren't they didn't succeed they didn't succeed so my people i must tell you people that this flag of biafra I have never met a, a kind of a garment with it before. I, in, in solidarity with Shuetalagu, and I also saw a woman who was uh, sitting on the floor. She was wearing the same thing. I also saw that they were also embarrassing this woman. Somebody told me she's a mad woman. I don't know. But I am going to make my own garment. I'm going to make a kaftan of it. I will do it. And if every one of us can do that, let them know that they are fed and they cannot stop us. We are the rising sun. It is uncalled for and we will never support it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, my wonderful sister. Before I bring in um, my brother, um, Solomon Asimba, you know, you mentioned something. It is a message. Chuo Talo has passed a message. And you also you also bring it down you also break it down so the answer that you mentioned the word that can you buari can you live with the dead buari for, for inside hair fire when you did we should not also forget that this buari is dead and they should not also we should not also forget to be eating it to the effect that we knew that the imposter imposter came to him of state we knew that it was impossible that went to Imo State. We knew and we believe 
that Buhari is dead and gone. And Buhari is gone forever. And whosoever, whosoever that is in that very uh, 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 mask, whosoever inside that very mask, whosoever putting on that mask, we are going to we are going to unveil him very soon. And that is exactly what we are con what we will continue to be speaking or should I say to be beckoning up. So before I will go to uh, my brother Solomon Asimbo. This man is a legend. He is a legend in Biafra land. He is a legend, a well-respected somebody, a well-respected personality. And they are trying to dehumanize him to put fear in the heart of so, or, uh, so many other uh, 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 already, already, already cowards. Already cowards. Even those who, go, who are claiming to be men. But they have no balls under them. They are, they are putting more, 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 more fear in them. So I want you to share your own thoughts on this very issue before we proceed. Uh, thank you very much. <clears throat> thank uh, you. Please, our uh, people, you people should share as you are watching, share, please. Uh, I want to make some correction. Uh, mad the, the woman is not a mad woman. It's not a mad woman. She's mad in Biafra. She's a legend in Biafra. As in, she is, you know, uh -huh, she's not a mad woman. She's, she's very bold. Like, the way she with Talago, they are the two heroes. Even when people have lost, uh, have been intimidated, uh, intimidated, this man, Chiwe Talago, and that woman are the only people that stood up before the zoo and flag off this the Biafran. That's nothing we have. The woman is the one that is looking for police by herself. If you watch the video, she is looking for police. Come and take me. She become a problem to them. But that of two uh she went to go, I should address it. You know, Nigeria is 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 a, is a contraction. If you if you say a zoological a zoological republic is organized, a zoom is well organized. I went to Zoom. You take children to Zoom, you ask that a contraction is something else. When a lawless country, country that is lawless, that is Nigeria, like as I'm sitting with you now, I'm wearing a soldier trouser. Yeah, right here. But if it is that contraction, you wear this kind of uh, dress I wear now, they will pick you off. They will say, impersonating you understand but yeah europe will wear soldier uniform what is the what is the crime of wearing a cloth made with biafra people wear cloth you will see that we use usa flag they will see you will see them using british flag in their clothes somebody wear an attire that is designed with the Biafran flag. You went to go and pick him. What is the crime? And you said something. You said, in Europe, you are not allowed to naked. You are allowed. Why they don't want you to naked here? Because of the weather condition. It's cold. When you, you are allowed to dress anywhere you want to, anyhow you want to dress. But because of the weather condition, we are in a very cold weather, so some sorry, certain things. Brother. Sorry, my brother, yeah. for interrupting you once, uh, interrupting you too. Yeah. Look at this comment on the screen. On, on the screen, you mentioned something that this woman is a legend. He, she he, she was mad in Biafra. They told yes. her in that very video that she should go. This was woman. I need even to find the enemy. That is why yeah. you will not have. We all we go crazy about Biafra. Yeah. When you yeah. will, you will see millions of mad people. You go catch yes. mad people, you go arrest, you go tire. They don't have to go. Say, where do you want me to go? This is my father's land. And you tell me that you you tell me that that in Africa has not possessed all of us. Arrest me <laughs> that you are to keep Biafra. Go ahead, my brother. Thank you very much. Okay, so she was putting on um um Shinetaragu was putting on a Biafra attire, a cloth designed with Biafra, 
and there is no crime because Biafra is not a crime, it's a nation. Everybody knew he existed for some time. You understand? And it's illegally, illegally, uh, illegally uh, uh, reversed on Nigeria because normally Nigeria did not follow the due process. The due process, after they have declared Biafra, after the war, Nigeria could have conducted a referendum for the people to decide. But Nigeria did not conduct referendum because they are afraid, illegally, because this measure is an illegal measure back by law. You understand? So, Shure Talago was being brutalized, uh, although he's a hero, I know, he did it. He's a hero, because why I say, we don't think Biafra is easy, according to our leader, Mazuna Nikalu. He said something in the DSS course study on Friday, maybe on Thursday. He said, we are in the very darkest phase, the very tough phase, but at the end, V3 is ours. We should be strong. You understand? We are about to see many of this nonsense. The zone, you know, if have you ever seen a snake that is being caught, but not caught away? It'll be run looking for somewhere to scatter, looking for something to bite. This is what the zone is doing. Definitely you know it will die. The zone is going, it's going down. In the new that. So they are just looking for blood to suck, just to cause war, to prolong the Biafra imagine, uh, uh, imagine so that they will say there is a war. You understand? This is what the Zoom is just the strategy of the Zoom and the governors. Each time you arrest somebody, the Zoom could have known this lesson. Each time they arrest somebody like you see, something like Shiwe Talago. You give more room for people to be mad. There will be more bold. They will come out and, you know, they will, they will do it more because there's, what kind of intimidation is this? In the north, you cannot try this kind of nonsense. You are doing. You negotiate with the terrorists, bandit, Boko, whatever you call it. You went to go and see that you said they should integrate them. You say uh, they are needed. You understand? In the society, they should be president and everything. Why in the East, normal people that is just agitating for freedom that they don't want to stay with you, you are killing them, you are arresting them, you are taking them down, and you say intimidation will stop Biafra. If you watch what um, um, Shibike said, Shibike Amishi, do you watch what Shibike Amishi wrote yesterday? He said something. He wrote Chibika Ameshi, the former governor of Portacot, of uh, River State, that is Portacot, right? He said something. He said, Nigeria government has spent billions of trying to stop the agitation of Biafra to stand what you are fighting. We must make it very, very clear that we are in a struggle for liberation, there is no democracy in a revolution. We are in a perpetual state of a revolution. There is no democracy. We are a quasi-military... Sorry, my brother, for that interruption. Go ahead, please. Okay. So, as I'm saying, um, this, uh, what he said, he said, Nigeria government has spent billions of trying to stop the agitation, but the thing is getting worse. Nigeria government, he said, what he, he as a Nigeria, is saying it, he said, the problem is that, he said, the people that is conducting the IPOB leaders are super intelligent than the Nigeria government. They know how to play the card. So instead of Nigeria government suppressing the agitation, the agitation is getting momentum. So Nigeria government has spent billions and is afraid that there is nothing Nigeria can do about it. This is the statement on a newspaper he wrote. Punch, um, it was a uh, daily times of that punch newspaper. You understand? This is, Biafra is a spirit. You cannot stop it. Our leader, Mazin and Nikalu, he just come to cleanse us, to educate us for what we are supposed to know that we did not know. He just came to come and tell us which Nigeria government fee. That's all. 
Leave the rest for people. Are you the one that is piloting the seat at home every Monday? Is it the IPOB piloting it? Is the spirit that enter the people? You understand? When um, DOS give instruction, is the IPOB the one carry out the instruction? No, it's the Biafra people. To tell you that it's the spirits. If the spirits say, oh, leave them, but the people, the follow, you need the followers. The Biafra is safe. You understand? When the followers, look at what the followers is doing. They are killing them day and night, but still they are still mad. They are locking their shop, going home, even threatening to knock down Nigeria. Threatening us uh, all, all manner of things because Nigeria are afraid. Look at what happened today. Did you know even uh, trailer, ordinary trailer as big as trailer today just tumble for because of the bad road of Ekwere Madu? Because Ekwere Madu pockets an express road to his pocket. He fought express road in Biafra land. He fought the whole express road and put it inside his pocket. And Taylor is tumbling there because of Ekwere Madu. Stupidness of our leaders. Even the judge I wait said it uh, yesterday. He said he never knew. He said now nah, he saw that the uh, Onanese and the governor are not in charge. Onanese is in charge of Biafra. It's in charge of the people. It's in, it's in the newspaper. The judge are with wrote it. He said because those people are abroad. When they say something, the people carry it. Who is in charge? He said Onanese was busy deceiving them that they are still in charge. Now they saw that Onanese is not in charge at all. Even Judge Awe is saying it is smart. My brother, even but... Onanese, they obey order. On Onanese, ah. they obey. <laughs> Who no grieve, you must grieve. I demand this, so. Who no grieve, must grieve. Go ahead and round up, my brother. Go ahead. Oh, so that is how he is. IPOB, uh, Biafra is a spirit. Those legends, those people you saw are living legends. Aside from our leader, Mazun and the Kalu, which is ready to use his life and pay and do anything. Those two legends, um, the woman and the and the uh, uh, man have done everything we cannot do, even which we are doing here. Because they stood before the Janja will and tell the Janja will even to the face of God, say. This is rising sun. Even the woman is worse. The woman is the one finding, finding Nigeria police. Where is them? I'm looking for Nigeria police. Come and get me. By the time they finally, she finally saw Nigeria police, they were begging her to go. Please go. He said, where am I going? Will I leave Biafra? Are you not going to go? I'm in my land. To tell you, Biafra is in the spirit. People are crazy. You know, the politicians have no voice in this place. They have lost their voice entirely. What the politician is just trying to do is just trying to slaughter and kill people, which is unnecessary. You understand? Those things the politicians are doing, which is burning, burning people out, causing evil and harm, and the pastors, especially our pastors, our bishop, they are very corrupt, very corrupt bishop that they are using, politician is using. God, she could. Now God go God. The Gallocks never use their church to do campaign. They could have know what is going on. Angel could have visited Thank them. You. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you so much. We are even getting there right now. We are getting there. Of course, but before we go there, we'll go for a very short break. And this short break is it is a message to Biafras, which I will want them to listen and at, with enough attention, with enough attention, because this message is very very important you may have come across it before but you must listen to it of course we have played it here several times but you must listen to it again understand what you are fighting we must make it very very clear that we are in a struggle for liberation there is no democracy in a revolution we are in a perpetual state of a revolution there is no democracy 
we are a quasi military organization yeah not in terms of our outlook or pursuit of what we believe in but in terms of how we are structured it is called command and control that is why we are the highest the largest mass movement in the world when Biafra comes you can do all the democracy in your life that you want there are a lot of things that we are doing that we cannot tell you when we tell you sometimes oh but why are you telling us you don't have to tell us but when we don't tell you you also complain oh why haven't you told us so we cannot win the body because more began if you take them up, they say, you know, Simo Beke is, is the dead body of a white uh, 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 court mind those days. White colonialists. Not DC, the state commissioner. Take him up, you say, no, 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 no. Bring him down, you say, no, 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 no. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, my great leader. We will be forever, we will forever be grateful to you. Thank you very much. Yeah, that is the message I want you all to understand as this struggle continues. Now, moving to the next topic we have in the house, I will quickly go to the person of son of IPOB. And uh, going to him, he's talking about the church, the church in Biafra land. The role the church have made themselves, what should I say? Some of the church have made themselves to be, should I say? I don't even know how I can address those people. We are talking about the church. They have now made, they have now submit themselves to our oppressors. They have not, because that is the only platform, the only platform left. That is the only card that when you know say when you they play um, um this uh, card, you get one card that they call them what? That what? If you don't they play, you they play, you give and pick two, you give and pick three, you give and pick ten, you get one to what they call last card and check off. So now the judge and win. True or amazing, the, 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 the F level governors, they are not paying their last card. And the only last card they have with them in this very number election. You know, we have not witnessed this thing before. I don't even know how it looks when you refuse to vote in the state. When you I, I, will, I just want to witness some at least one if once in my lifetime. I bet. I bet be at least even at once. Make a witness with my eye. Make a witness now say, in my own lifetime, there is a state we use as an example. We will not get into the election. And it will not be only in Anambra, anywhere in Biafra now. So shall it be. You know, they are now using the church as a tool. That is the last card they want to play. Because they knew that Biafra are God-fearing people. They understand that our relationship with Oputamono our relationship with Chukokiki and Biyama, it is unshakable. It is unnegotiable. It is undiluted. You know, they are not trying to use that very last card to enter us. But I know, say, even my comrade with this platform, as I speak, they don't go green. And Biafra, they don't go green. Because our HOD, the, our HOD, the honorable one, where they, the, that is the honorable second. I know they call them honorable one. Not be the honorable one. The honorable second in this very struggle, in this very struggle that we have, he has spoken. He has spoken on the behalf of honorable first, on the behalf of the old, the old honorable way that Biafra land. He has spoken. He said, if you allow your church, if you allow your pulpit to be used for some poopoo, -poo, for some poopoo, -poo, if you turn your pulpit to poopoo, -poo, no worry. If unknown people can't help you, unknown spirits, unknown, you know, say, most we don't allow different order for your house. You go start to get different kind of flies around you. So anything where you keep for your house, now you go invite the kind of thing. Where if you keep only for grant, you go invite ants. If you keep, uh, uh, if you search for house, you go, invite, you go invite flies. If you go pour water for everywhere for house, you go invite mosquitoes. So it depends on your choice. Now they are not about to invite some old, some un, unknown spirits, unknown spirit to, 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 to worship with them, to worship with them, to deliver them from their stupidity, to deliver them from their make a not come talk finish. I bet my brother take the mic. Mm. 
Thank you, uh, my brother Onatiti, for giving me this opportunity to, you know, to speak uh, what I have. You know, the church has been. Sorry for that. Sorry for that. Sorry for that. You know, sorry for that. I must apologize for that. Uh, the church has been compromised. You know, it is even written in the Bible. You know, the ancient tear. You know, what is happening today? It has already been. It has already been uh, written in the spiritual realm because all these pastors you are seeing now, they are all be bought over. Even this Anna Bray election that is about to take place now, we are talking about now. There, 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 is, there are information that is going on that they have, there's a one pastor in Anabra, they have bought him over with 200, two, uh, 20 uh, billion, a bit 20 million, and they bought him a car. Now, now, what they are planning now is to do the Anabra election in the church. That is their next strategy now. Because this sit at home now, they know that this sit at home will weaken them, we torture them. But now they are back now, they are not planning now to go to the church. Already, it's not planned. They have already settled the, the all the old uh, priests of uh, the so called priests of uh, house of uh, house of the they are Lucifer. That is not the place of God. God, God don't accept those kind of people because many are coffee are choosing those people. They are bunk, they are bunk home. All these prophets, you see, they are born when Biafra comes, they will leave Biafra land. We will chase them away to Ezra. Do you know that where they are building, they are fucking, they are, they are useless. So they are useless churches. It is where we worship when before the the, uh, the Christianity came. These people, they are com they are committing atrocity. They are this. Uh, prophet, these uh, pastors which you are seeing today, they are most wicked, deadly than this uh, evil governor we are shouting about, the uh, governor, governor, governor. These pastors, you see. What we need to do is to sit, is to make sure that there will be no Sunday service in all Biafra land. We will shut all Biafra land down, especially on Sunday. No church will open. Anybody that open church, we have you ourselves to blame. We go, we go to Chiko Kiki Abiyama for judgment. We will shut him down. This time we need to be brutal. We need, we don't need to look and anybody that just who we just give you who who. All these prophets you are seeing today, they are evil. Can you imagine the other day? Uh, what is it called? Uh, 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 what is it called? This hopeless, this hopeless animal. When he when he when he invited his, uh, uh, milit, uh, the uh, the soldier the janja went to Biafra land to kill our people. After that, he went to church. Yeah, I know him. He's a he's a he's a bastard, and he's a he's a forbidden fruit. He came to Biafra land. Do you know what he did? He went to church, and he were he, and he was wearing white and white as an innocent man. And if you can recall, our leader said told all the old priests in Biafra land that you should never allow all these evil people to come to your church. He mentioned one of the useless pastor's name. All of them, they are all useless. All these bunkers, they are bunkers. Now, now, what our people need to know, because these people, they are, their are next step is to go to church and conduct election. You know what I mean? So, what will be what we, what we need to pray is that uh, these people they will they, before even the on the six I'll be on the eight, uh, on the six of uh, on uh, on the uh, on the six of the day of the election, we should pray that they, these people may even ring the election before them because why what they are doing now they know that the people is they are fed up the people are ready to do what is on do, you know what I mean? So now. There was there, there is one pastor who brought this idea that uh, since uh, there is lockdown and everything, that they should come, they will do it in church premises. So, what is we need to do as a Biafra, the children of Chuko Kike Abiyama, we need to stop this uh, going church every Sunday. We need to stop Sunday service, we need to shut it down. There should not be there should be no any service on Sunday. If you want to worship, you worship at home. Because we have been worship since right from the creation. Not today. We just start today. You see what is happening. Even the useless so-called priests, they cannot even come out to condemn what is evil. They have been bought over by all these useless animals. 
So, my brother, you see what is happening today. It is something that we we need to be prepared for it. And uh, to me, to me, I I buy the uh, the Sunday. Everybody should sit at home. Sit at home. No church. We should chase all these people away. Enough is enough. If we want our freedom today, if we want our freedom today, my brother, wait. If we want our freedom today, all these prophets, we need to we need to start deal, dealing with them. You will see solution will be coming out because this is these are the people this this useless governors are running to, and all our information. These are the people who are telling the governors this is this is our next strategy. This is our next because we look up to them before, not now, because these people they are bunker, they are useless. So we need to do something. Oh, hey, Biafra. Of course, of course, Biafra will hold thee as we proceed. Biafra will hold thee. You know, talking about um, Sunday sit at home, you know, uh, once the leadership have not say, said it, and it is not yet law, but once our Norogutu HOD say it, it has become law in Biafra land. And of course, we will be trying because it seems that our people really want us to deal with all those so-called religious leader. I can see from comment session, people are saying that we should try. And of course, I can assure you all from now on, from this moment onward, from this moment as we speak, we will try and we'll start pressurizing or shall I say, to convince the leadership to give the order. Because I believe that the leadership will do, but they are waiting for the, the, the church leader. So first of all, commit that very crime. So when they commit the crime, so they will now start working in that very aspect. But on my own, I think these people have already done a lot before now. They have already committed a lot of atrocities. They have already allowed the enemies to use them against us, to oppress us, to dehumanize us, you know, to make sure that we live like nobody in our father's land. And I think we should teach them, teach their pocket, teach their tithe and offering some, some, some lessons. You know, I don't know how it will look in their body. Let us, you know, let us try to, 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 to manage them, to, to, to manage their weight for, 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 for some Sundays, you know, at least from now to the date of the election. So we will try and we will continue to, you know, to, to, to pressure the leadership to make sure that they're going that very aspect as well. And I will want you, um, of course, uh, my sister is back here, my sister, Ejiro, to quickly, you know, you know, share your own thoughts about these churches. The atrocities cities that these churches have been committing in our midst is too much, my sister. In fact, it's sister much. Because some of them, they are women. Some of them are men. So it is sister much. And we think that we have it here so that you can address them from your own perspective. Thank you very much. Take the mic. It's like you're having network. Um, oh, hey, Biafra. Uh, Biafra, we heard you. Go ahead. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you very much. I'm very happy you're talking about... Uh, the role of the pastors uh, in this uh, in the problem that is happening in Nigeria, the situation of Nigeria. Uh, for me, I believe um, there are three people who are destroying the, the country. You have the pastors, the men of God. Um, you have the traditional rulers and uh, the politicians. Now we are talking about uh, the, the, the men of God. They claim to be men of God. They are self-claimed men of God. Uh, what our people fail to understand is that in Matthew 24, 11, it says many false prophets. Let's not forget the word many. And let's not forget that when Jesus was addressing his disciples, he said little flocks. That means there are not a lot of people who are, who are the chosen. There are not a lot of people there, but there are many who appear to be um, truthful, who appear to be uh, people who are truly men of God. And it also went far to say that they will deceive many. So our people, Nigerians are people, they are very gullible. They are very gullible. Nigerians believe they know it all. They know it. They are more um, uh, righteous than the people who brought the Christianity to them. 
they are more um, um, righteous than the people who brought Islam to them. If you look the way the Northerners are taking uh, the, the Islamic religion, is exactly the same way the Christians are taking their uh, Christianity. They do, they no longer ask questions. They no longer reason. They no longer think anything logic. Logic doesn't exist in their head because they are gullible. You you have you cannot point out the wrongdoings of a pastor. Immediately you do that, they will attack you. They will tell you, touch not my anointing. I do not. <laughs> my sister, now this camp, now the now this camp code be that. Now the big dad will be that. That was then. No, no, everybody is everybody else. Uh, um, before my sister will come back. Okay, it's, she's back Hello. now. Because I know she Am has I a back? Lot of yeah, you are back now. Go ahead, right on. I'm very right sorry. On. I don't know you what's just, wrong with you my network today. the clock from the masquerade. Aye, my sister, right on. <laughs> you just open the clock from the eye. Right. Okay, so, so if you look like here, yeah, it's not that this the Westerners. It's not that they they don't believe in God. So people feel that the, the, the religion religion has left the West. It's not true. It's not true. It has not left. It's just that they are logical when it comes to thinking they think when it's time for them to to be spiritual they are spiritual but africa everything has to be spiritual spiritual even something that they are supposed to do physically somebody might be sick having a and, and just a normal headache they will they will link it to a spirituality everything is spiritual now that is the reason why you see that the prophet the pastors are taking advantage of them don't be gullible now, these pastors, anytime there is election, the politicians, they run to the pastors because they believe that the people, they trust the pastors, they cannot question their pastors, everything that their pastors say, they will take it. And these people, the pastors have preached to them so much that you cannot, if you ask us questions, if you don't respect us, if you don't take everything that we tell you, you will not make heaven. And they believe that questioning a pastor will eventually take you to hellfire. I have encountered a lot of uh, Christians in Nigeria. Sometimes when you talk to them, they will say, oh, you have backslide. It's not true, I'm not, I have no backslide. I've not backslided. You don't pray more than me. The day I left Nigeria, that was the day my eyes opened about Christianity. I now understood that, wow, I've been living in darkness, I didn't know. Who told, self-righteousness will not take you to heaven. And I can tell you that within the Christian circle, all the pastors, they don't even love themselves as one body. And normally, as a Christian, you are supposed to be one body in Christ. How come they all have different doctrines? How come the, the, the Catholic, they have their doctrines? The um, Pentecostal, they have their doctrine. Yet they say it is one God. It is not one God. It is two different gods. Don't claim to be one that you are in Christ in one body. So my people, you must wake up, oh. Makuna wake up, Makuna no allow pastors the deceive una. All these pastors they are acquiring um, um, private jets. Look at their children living flamboyantly. Some of them they are they are living yet. They, they are studying in abroad. They live in the hotel. Their parents pay for them with your tight money. You will not even have money. You will still go. You will go and be paying tight. Like my mother, she don't owe. Oh, there is nothing you can tell my mother making here again. That was she don't dead deep inside the gullibility. The money you give her to eat, she will tell you there's no more money. Why you tell her mom? What do you do with the money? I pay tight. Now say, ah, you go and pay tight with your feeding money. If I don't pay tight, it's not good. That everybody's paying. I have to pay. Which <laughs> my people, honestly. And she, she, oh my god, this is the this is the problem. Now look at some of these pastors. I will call names. I don't care. Kumuye, Kumuye is a friend to the politicians. Adebiye, Oyedepo. All of the pastor priests, they are all friends to the politicians. Now ask me, this Jesus that they claim they are following, was Jesus befriending the, the Pharisees, the Sadducees? No, Jesus was befriending the people. Why is it that the pastors of today, they befriend the politicians and abandon the people? Can't they see that the people are suffering? People cannot even afford three square meals per day. They are in that church paying tithes. And you as a pastor, you have three private jets, you have schools, you have universities. And the people in your church, they cannot even afford it. Let me tell you, this time, everybody should wake up. No election will be conducted in any church. If there is not taking, a, a, a comrade said, suggested that they should implement Sunday sit at home. I think that Sunday sit at home will really weaken them. 
Let it be done. Don't think that if you don't go to church, you will not go to heaven. No, no lie. Now we are Sunday Sunday church service day for Bible. Make no, show me. We are day for Bible. Say you must go church on Sunday. It is not written in the Bible that you must go to church on Sunday. These are all framed up by a man, and you people are following it. Wake up, my people. There shall be no election in Anambra State. Anambra State is the first state that will carry out this this uh, this order. And it's going to be like that. that. Those days that they used to deceive our people with religion, it don't pass. Those, I, now I, I search, I go to do research for myself. I don't listen to what pastor tells me. I don't listen. How many of them? There are so many of them. They, after they would they deceive you, they will come and they will tell you they are sorry that the doctrine they teach you uh, two years back, three years back, they were wrong. They will come out and tell you this is the right one. Are you fooled? Can't you wake up? Can't you wake up? Why are these people not investing the tight money on you? Why are they not investing it on the poor people? Why are they acc accumulating money on earth? They know that there is heaven. Heaven is waiting for them. Why are they accumulating money here? Is heaven not better than earth? Why are they accumulating money? Why don't they get, accumulate and send the money? By the way, now which uh, bank that they send the tithes they go give God? Which bank? My people, make could not wake up, eh? Make could not wake up. So it not go happen. It not go happen. We go so implement Sunday sit at home. That one go pepper the way where they go. Now that they go not say the people they feel them. The people, the pastors are not feeling it. They are not feeling it because they are comfortable. They are befriending the politicians. Our people need to wake up. Religion has done more, more destruction than good in Nigeria. My people, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much, my sister. You don't really hit them. I hope so they not go. They not go rush you. <laughs> Because the place that they are blocked, cost go drop. So, my sister, you do well. Of course, um, as we continue, <laughs> as we continue, my sister, um, of course, uh, what we are doing here, this is Coastal Biadran TV. And we are here because we put our life into this. And this is what we believe. Biafra is our religion. Of course, Biafra is our religion, it's our doctrine. It's our everything. It's our go bo bo. It's our life. So if you don't know, make you know. So anything that will tamper it, we will not take it lightly. We are not going to take it lightly. We are not even telling them to feed us. With all their private, they may they not worry, but make them not add. If they don't feel help us, may they not come add join our program. Because if anybody allow themselves, allow their church, their pulpit, they, they turn them to poo poo. They allow politicians to come the poop inside their church. Make them not worry. On no spirit will come the clearer. We go clear their doubts. They go believe. They go believe. So, uh, my brother Solomon Asiba, quickly share your thoughts on this so that we can move to the next thing. Of course, we are coming to uh, to the end of the program gradually. Uh, share your thoughts. Uh, uh, as my sister don't talk this thing, so the thing just they make me they laugh. You know why they laugh? But I get pissy for Nigeria. We be seeing now this churchy. Everything about church. Sometimes we begin to sick. You go can can't go to. I say carry it to the hospital. You can't go to church. I will tell us so kind thing. Say this church is washing. You have to use your brain and see reality. You know what he what he tell me? He say I know. Hey, I know they go. I know go make heaven. Me, I know go go heaven. I say okay. Since now only you want make heaven for this level where you did. I dash you the heaven. Anytime, he will say, I'll make heaven. Now, if anything, he will come me. That's the one I'm not going to make heaven. Why is it that you're going to give you money? But if you don't go meet your pastor now, where your pastor gives you money, the time, so you don't pay. Everything. You know that your pastor say, we'll give you the share for inside. But now, me, you'll come for a put again. Why I can't give you money? Let me tell you something. Our sister, I want to make you to understand why, if the politician is going down, the pastor is going down together. Let me tell you, they are work, they are they are tied together. Did you remember Khan? Khan. Who paid them? Is the government? Yeah, they get the, their money from the government. Okay, they get their yeah. money for the government. Don't think they are different. Mm -hmm. Where I was in uh, in Nigeria, churches. They convey in the government house, or most of the pastor, they, they say is they call it a Christian uh, fellowship something. They convey in the government house. The government pay them 
regularly every month. So why are you thinking they will not do the bidding of the government? So our people should wake up. They are working together. They are together. If the government steal money, where did they? Which private jet they use it to carry it to Europe? I, sorry, my brother. I am tempted to interrupt you, <laughs> Solomon. You know, if, yeah. they hit the, if they hit the point, I they I they in spirit with you. So as they go, if they drag me, they go another place again entirely. Look at this commenter. He said, please, all what you are saying is true. But please, all what you are saying is true too. This is the mentality of a typical black man. But please, to avoid offending God. <laughs> please, to avoid offending God. We should not be tight. Liver. Liver. No, liver. 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 mentality you understand how can somebody be sick you take it to um, uh, instead of taking it to the hospital you take it to the church and the this thing where they talk so our people where they wise where pastor not fool you in that church where they go that hour they bong go where they bong that church unfortunately where i call they go school so i can't get one accident for school no whether they play they come at the, the school called carry me go hospital. They call admit me for the hospital. And that church, they know they go hospital for that church. Too. That church they forbid hospital. They say they believe in faith. As I did the hospital, me and mama, because they admit me. Now our pastor wife, because the thing they were happier. 
in fact, people where they, they go to our church, no go quick uh, uh, go to that area. Our pastor wife, Kale Peking, come the same hospital. As I said, come out for what? Me and my mother now jam the woman. Ah! Ah! What do you do for here? He said, you know, now, nah. yeah, you know, I have to do this. But you are deceiving people. You they hide. They go to the hospital. You stand for congregation, say, hey, my faith in me. But you they take mercy. So I just. Uh, I just look the woman like this now, shake it. I say, I say, Mama, you don't see her. You see her, I see her more. They're not telling me, I'm me just saying, her. You are deceiving people. You have deceived almost the whole congregation that you can just there and you'll be healed. But why, in reality, you go to that corner and take, I know the hospital now, where they go now. Go to take your own. You see what I was saying? Our people should wake up. This is time for freedom. In freedom time, religion is removed. We don't have pastor according to what you we play. We are a quasar military by our doing, obey and command. Pastor G O, we don't want it. After we have gotten Biafra, you can bring your church and bring everything, no problem. But for now, anybody that we stand in our way, we take him down. For closing church um, for Sunday. We are still waiting for the pastor that they will use the church to campaign. Anybody that they will use the church to campaign, because we know they are all politicians, he will find himself to blame in Biafra. And when no, Biafra comes, his church will be sorry. Bad. sorry, my brother, let me come into a little bit. Sorry to, uh, to, uh, to interrupt you. They have already started using this so-called pastor. I will forget his name when one of our brother was uh, announcing it or, online this uh, morning. You know, they have, they have already using using him already. Finish. So we should. They will. They will give him twenty million, and they will give him a what's it called? A, this a so called a land crusher. This a jeep of a something. He was the one who brought the idea that a church need to you know they need to do this a this a, a what's it called campaign church. He was the one who brought the idea, and uh, before they started uh, you know seeing it that uh, it's a good idea to then. You know so don't forget about this. Head. We they call for them. We bring the idea now. We not say we not call. We they call for them, my brother. We they call for them. We they call for them. I say, thank say, you go to me go. Thank say, you say they don't announce the church name according to you, eh? They don't announce the pastor name. They don't announce the church. We wait for the NJ. Now say it. Wait, wait, my brother. Wait. Go to this our this IPOB right up media. The man was there today. The man who announced this this. Uh, Uba, something like that, who is the one who is cont contesting. This APC man who is contesting for election. You will see the news there. The man who who, who, uh, who leaked their secrets, who laid down what they are planning and everything. You will see everything there. It's been it's be record in the even our this in IPOB right of media. You will see there. I was I was with it throughout this afternoon. I was listening to it and we, we heard what what they are planning and everything. If you go there, you will see what I'm saying now. It's not that I'm plan. It's not that I'm uh, had, uh, planning it or whatever. No, it's what they have been cooking. So we need to act fast. We are IPOB. We are the indigenous people. We are the largest mass movement on the earth, but no. So we need to a good neighbor. We need to shoot. But there is not. A, there's something we're supposed to know. But there is not a election conducted. Sorry. Uh, before we continue, uh, my brother Solomon, I want you to quickly. Make a point and round up so that we can give yep. our closing yep. remark. Um, you understand, we still have a lot of things to do behind um, the scene. Uh, we have a lot of meetings, uh, so because our time is no more our friend again, so we have to just make it uh, snap. Yes, <clears throat> okay. Um, you know, there is no election that we conduct in a church in, in any country that have never conducted an election in a church, they can. Don't worry, our angel will visit them. Biafra, the warriors of Biafra, the dead of Biafra will visit the church and those wicked pastors that refuse. And the members, the members that is there, go will touch their hearts to do something to the church should go down. And that is the prayer we are praying. And we know God will send angel from above to come and answer to that church prayer in my Jesus' name. My brother, this is what we Amen. have been saying just now. This is what we are saying. 
we are not, we need we don't need to pray we don't need to do this we need to thank shut you. down sunday service no thank service you. for sunday thank you of course uh um i i know that uh, most of us are very angry of course um we uh, these people they don't provoke us past that level now you make our leader talk say we don't cross the river con so there's no going back anymore so um like we said we will push our message so Hello, my brother. Let them put it now. So, um, yeah. Yes, can you take something to say? Yeah. yeah. Can you take I, a I look at your comments? Say... There's someone okay. writing rubbish there. You have to correct him. He's saying that uh, we are planning to kill Christians. You have to, I think we have to treat him because he's misunderstanding no, us. Uh, now. Nah, he is part of them. He is maybe not, not be a secretary. Not no. Not be a Who's a Dima? Hopeless. Please. Um, now he be the secretary, now church secretary. Now he come our page so Make it, maybe you don't jump mind that idiot. So no okay. making idiot. We are not killing Christian. If you're if not the person, I be the general of us yeah. We know the that geos them now. We know them and we uh, uh the spirit where they invite go go visit them. And when the spirit visit them. Those of you now will be, uh, will be the so called Christian now go testify. The next reason they now come to testimony time of a common side. Testimony time of a common side. So now go testify. Say, of, of course, or put a on a God. So, uh, um, I've been no verse, my brother. He get what I be one talk, no verse. Eh? One, one, one minute. I know go take your time. Just one minute. Right. You ask this so called idiot, this, uh, this vagabond. When they kill the the uh, the leader of a uh, clan, when Boko Haram kill, kill the leader of camp, how many useless so called pastor commas are, uh, condemn the evil when they commit? Say, ah, this Christian pastor, when they kill, when they kill, when Boko Haram kill, kill almost about, uh, let's say, months ago, months, months ago, when they kill, he said, who's he, he said, last day, when they kill. And ask this useless person when they talk about Christianity, ask. How many pastors come and say, ah, no, when they would demand ransom? How many pastors contribute to make sure, say, they release that, that man from inside this, uh, inside the theme of uh, the Boko Haram? You are here yapping. My brother, I say no election. Even Sunday service will shut and down. And my brother, on a duty, I beg, use on the thing for our uh, our DOS, eh? Use on the thing for them. May they shut down everything. We know say they will shut down. We know. Made a short and done. The people, yeah, we are not happy. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. It is our duty. It is uh, every everybody's duty. Your duty, um, uh, a sigma duty, a zero duty, or a duty, so that together we can move. Of course, all help be Biafra. I'm going for the last uh, uh, um, topic we have in, 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 in on ground, because we will continue singing this as well. No election in Anambra, uh, in Anambra State. And no church should be allowed, uh, no, no general of us here, or should I say, church to allow themselves to be used by any politician against their members. So uh, please, I want us to quickly give two, two many uh, closing remarks so that we can round up because um, we're about to enter another phase of, uh, of the program. Please, go ahead. My sister, Ejiro, take the mic. Just um, two minutes closing remark, the, your, your message for our people at home concerning Anabra State election. Go ahead. Two minutes. Thank you very much. Uh, my message to our people back home is that um, if you have been doing something and you're getting it wrong, you are doing something, you are not improving. If you are working in a company and uh, you every, uh, before the end of the month, you no longer have money uh, to spend uh, in your bank account, I think you will be searching for a better job. So that you a job that you be well paid, so that at the end of the month you know that money will still be in your account. You have sufficient money to spend. This is the situation we have now. Uh, we don't see any good thing that the election have done to the lives of the people. People are still suffering. They have they, they, there is extreme poverty in the land. People are dying, killings and all that. And we know where this problem is coming from. So for me, our people should forbid they should forbid election in anambra states and, and like we said anambra state is going is going to be the fourth state 
that will that will carry out this uh, kind of order that will that will implement it from there every other state will do the same what we want is a diplomatic freedom we are we don't have arms we don't uh, have power to fight them but we we have we don't have weapons i mean to, we don't have weapons to fight them but the power that we have is strategy so there shall be no elation in anambra state and also the pastors should get it right in their head if they know what is good for them let them stay away from the election that is upcoming if you think if you believe that um the jeep that they buy for you if you believe that the money that they give to you is more important that, than the heaven which is supposed to be uh, your dream that means you are not a pastor at the first place a true pastor has nothing to do with politics even if you want to talk if you want to intrude into politic issue you should come in when things are going wrong and speak against it because that that is what jesus did he spoke against the injustice the uh the the injustice carried out by the pharisees he persistently rebuked them he rebuked them times without number telling them that they are misusing their power this is what this is where the pastor can come in if they are if at all apart from that they have not dealing to visit abuja they are not dealing to go and be praying for a politician that the politician should get favor from god who told you is god that that give them this power a politician that will go and be paying youths youths that graduated from school they don't have job they will use the opportunity to give them money and use them as electoral electoral talks then this politician will win election because of fraud you will go and pray for the the politician who are you are you a true pastor we are not here fighting against christianity we also some of us here are christians so we are just telling you the truth you, should, you must wake up there shall be no election our people should wake up don't allow anybody to decide your destiny for you you when you suffer you suffer alone when your child is first sick and you take your child to the hospital the pastor is never there to rescue you you your child if you don't have money to pay for the hospital bills your child will die so you your destiny is in your palm it is the people that decide their destiny right here what is happening in europe when there is things are going wrong you will see the people they will come together not minding how uh, they are professional not mind minding the differences they will come together as one people speak with one voice and say this is what we want they will storm the streets and the government will listen to them now we don't have that kind of uh, opportunity to to storm the street the only way we can do it is to sit at home and if sit at Thank home you. is not enough then they, they, they can uh, another strategy will come come in later we don't know yet but my people Thank i am you. telling you you the fact that you don't go to church on sunday it will not stop you from making heaven in the old testament there was nothing like church but these people they are in heaven today moses go to church Abi Abraham, go church. You people should wake up. Your church is here. The, the good thing that you do for the Thank people you. is your church. So my people, let me not talk too much. I want to encourage you all to know that your freedom is fundamental. Don't toy with it. Thank you. So this is what exactly. I have to tell you. Thank you very much. Exactly. I know that if I should leave every one of us here, we are not, we're not going to come up for here. So because I know that the spirit in Amdika don't possess everybody. So now I, the be that. Now when you know that, uh, receive your own ordination. Uh -huh. And that time you see they talk yada 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 yada. But once when the spirit don't possess you, go there like demons. And now wait to make Janja weak the fear of be that. Or oh, you'll be afraid. Please uh, Solomon and Simba take um, the mic and give your closing remark. Solomon, you are on mute. Thank you very much, our people. We love what you are doing. Uh, every Monday, your sit at home, you are doing. We appreciate you and keep on doing it. And um, we should not be deceived by this uh, modern pastor that is promising us heaven that have never been to heaven, that are keeping their money in earth and uh, getting all the material things in this life. And they promise us where they can never go. Nobody has been to heaven. Uh, let me tell you something. Because you are in Africa, you are in Nigeria, that's why you think Sunday service is compulsory. If you are a place like Europe, when um, you are in four, uh, three hours away from when there is church, I don't think you will be paying train to go to church every Sunday, like where I am now, since five years. It's very difficult to go to church because... 
if you want to go to African church, I have to pay, uh, go, I have to travel for two hours, three hours. So for that, I am, I'm doing my church in my house and I'm going to make heaven. That does not mean I do not know the Bible or I don't read what, I don't know what is good. I don't know what is right. But when I see evil, I condemn it because what our pastor is doing, they are taking advantage of your problem. The problem, look at what is the problem that we have in Africa. The problem we have in Africa, why we are going to church because of unemployment, no job, no lights, no road. Then the pastor will come and promise you, promise you a, a miracle money from nowhere. Have you ever seen miracle money without job? Converting the place that's supposed to use to create job to do church for their own business. Now, our people will be frustrated. Why? Because the government has already frustrated. Frustrated. The pastor will take advantage and start telling you that your mother is your problem. Your grandmother that is very poor is your problem. Your village people is your problem. Your village people are not your problem. They are in the same circumstance where you are. They are being frustrated by the government. Now the pastor take advantage, extracting you at the same time, using you to make more gain with the government. Now we are forced the government. The government itself is the problem of all genesis in Nigeria. The government is the reason why you people have no job. The government is the reason why you people have no right, light. The government is the reason why you people are dying in the road because of there is no good road. The government is the reason why there is no that there is insecurity. So why are they facing our grandmother and our grandpeople? People should be wise. Don't go to any church to go and vote. Any pastor should not deceive you. We should fight this fight and get your better life. When you have a better life, you don't need these people. You can go to any church and pray and God will answer you. We know in Europe, we pray, we pray less prayer in Europe. Less. I told people, I told my friend, I don't pray the way you pray in Africa. I pray less prayer. You, Africa, you pray so many prayers. You pray for food. You pray for road. You, if I'm traveling, you are traveling now here to Munich. You will pray. Somebody is traveling from Benito to Lagos. You will pray for safe journey. Why? Because insecurity is there. The road are bad. You understand? You pray for safe journey. It's unnecessary. There are some things that you have, the government have to face. You don't need to pray this kind of prayer. You pray for job. Why? It's unnecessary. In Germany, you don't pray for job. There is job everywhere where you are qualified to work. You understand? There are some things you have to force the government. You don't pray for water or light. Look at light. I'm using light 24-7. This is normal basic things that the government is supposed to provide. So these are things you are praying for. The pastor is just trying to cajole you. And you people should be wise. Now we are fighting the fight of faith. The real fight that will bring all these things to, your, to the light. So don't let any pastor to deceive you. If possible, stop going to church for not the election. Nothing, you will not miss heaven. You will go to heaven. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, my brother. You made me speechless. So let me just let me just go straight to uh, son of IPUB. I never know the way down the tree. So uh, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I just want to encourage my people because uh, we are in a difficult time. You know, it's not easy. Because uh, when you when you, when when you start to miss uh, when you start to miss your 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 captain in every situation maybe you are around the the vicinity of your ship or whatever it is very difficult because uh, you don't know who, who who is the right man to to move you forward you know what i mean you know so what i'm saying is in in says that uh, what we need to do is that we are in the we are we are at this point of time now is that the church is a scam. Forget what this is useless pastors they are saying. Church is a scam. To me, I don't believe going to church. Before the white man came with their religion, with their Christianity, where were uh, where was we? We were we were praying to Tukokika Abiyama, and that is the our ancestor land that is how we pray to god almighty and he's it, you see all this thing we are passing through today it is the punishment of elohim because why we neglect all his mission all what he taught us we leave all our all what we need to do we leave everything and start following to the descendant of this uh, lucifer that fall from heaven do you know that the white people if you don't know listen a, who, a white man once said that uh, they came through this descendant of this Lucifer that fell from heaven. 
We are the re -access we are the re ownership of Africa. You know what I mean. So what is happening is that uh, let me tell you our tell our people something. Can you allow someone to go to your father's parlor and desecrate your father's parlor? No. Like let's like we nana. Like me, Nana, there is a place I can enter. Like there is a place I will sit in my father's parlor. There is a place I cannot sit. But that does not mean if I want to sit, I cannot take. But it is based on tradition, is it not? But how can you now allow someone from Futajalo, from West Africa, from some from Sahel to come and desecrate your father's parlor? It's not done anywhere. What do I, what do I mean by that is that? How can you allow someone to come to Biafra land to tell you what to do? A British will come to Biafra and start to... My brother, Africa, we need to change our mentality. What if we, See, if we want to grow in life, we need to drop this Christianity. Christianity cannot move us forward. If you, like what our sister said, if you want to... Christianity is from your heart. It's heart. Sometimes, uh, if I call my mom, I would just let me say, if I tell my mom, I say, mom, are you go? He will say, ah, my, my picking, ah, you know, say, ah, church, now heart, now church today. Now church, now heart today. Don't be by go to church. That's what my mom always told me. Because those are the, those are the, those are the traditional women. They know where we came from. It's not by putting church every day. <laughs> my brother, to me, let me conclude. My brother, my sister, I beg. We need to stop this going to church. If we want to make sure that you see, if we want Biafra to continue to be free, first of all, boycott this church. No going to church. Sit at home. Let us sit at home. That is the most you will see what will happen. All these pastors, they are evil, evil, demonic. They are they are even worse than this uh, governor we are talking about. My brother, listen, European will never come to save you. America will never come. China will never come. Nobody will ever come for your rescue. It is you that will it is you and your chi, you and your God that will save. It is God that will save you. But they say, have you helped those who help themselves? It is when you begin to sit down and think. You see our leader. Let me bring example. You see our leader. Our leader does not go to church. But that does not mean that because it's not going to church that hello is not with it. But it's not special when it comes to anointed ones. It's more special. Thank it's you. anointed one. It's be anointed you, by Elohim. When he speak, you. billions, even the world leaders, they obey. Because why? He carry what Elohim, Elohim gives to him. He commands. Thank you very much. As it's even in the, 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 the this uh, detention of this so called zoo, you know what is happening around the world. It's a Thank spiritual you. man, you know what is happening. So, we should be happy to have a leader like this, and we should walk with him, and we should believe in him because what he knows where we are going. Forget Thank all you. this bunk, all these are bunk, or Sunday service, shut down the whole Biafra land, no election, no you. churches, or a Biafra utility. The Afra will hold be. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, my brother. And I thank everyone, of course, who are here. Of course, you know, our leader is a spiritual. So if you are not in the spirit, you cannot go with us. So those who are not in the spirit, um, of course, um, you can see them dropping. They are dropping now and then. They are dropping every day by day. We keep on moving. The boat is keep on moving. The boat, as the boat is moving, people are dropping. Those who are who are liverly, should I say, who are who are who, who are little liver? Also. I don't know how, how to put it. So they are all li, 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 <laughs> Thank you very much, my brother. So of course, this is the coastal Biafran TV. But before we leave, we are going to play the voice of our leader of our leader. There is a reason for me playing this now and then. There is a reason for me playing this. So because this very struggle, we are under one command, under one control. If the head of the command say you are gone, you are gone. You are a goner. Just know say you are a goner. If the person say, say even if your head, we go bring him. No matter who you be, we go bring him before him. 
So now so we be for this very plot for for this very um, struggle. And every Biafran, I mean every Biafran must understand this. We are under one command, we are under one control. All hail Biafra. Listen to him himself, the Oyen Dumas and Ambicano. Do you now understand what you are fighting? We must make it very, very clear that we are in a struggle for liberation. There is no democracy in a revolution. We are in a perpetual state of a revolution. There is no democracy. Mm -hmm. We are a quasi-military organization. Mm -hmm. Not in terms of our outlook or pursuit of what we believe in, but in terms of how we are structured, it is called command and control. That is why we are the highest, the largest mass movement in the world. Okay. When Biafra comes, you can do all the democracy in your life that you want. There are a lot of things that we are doing that we cannot tell you. When we tell you sometimes, oh, but why are you telling us? You don't have to tell us. But when we don't tell you, you also complain. Oh, why haven't you told us? So we cannot win. The money that goes more again. If you take them up, they say, you know, Simo Beke is, is the dead body of a white uh, uh, court mind those days. White colonialists. Now do you see this state commissioner? Take him up, you say, no, 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 no. Bring him down, you say, no, 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 no. Thank you very much, my leader. All hail Biafra. Of course, this is Coastal Biafra TV. I appreciate you all, my fellow comrades, lovers of freedom. Those of you who have been watching, sharing, and there is a comment, commentator, should I say, uh, should I say commentator, a commenter, one of our commenters here. I don't know how I can get hold of this guy. I think he should, he should private chat me. This guy has been, he is a very good ana analyst. So he has, uh, you know, when he dropped comments, um, I, the person of Ifain Isaiah, Ifain Isaiah, he has been with us from the one on this very platform. I don't know how I'm going to get hold of him. Sometimes I will, I may say I want to get out of him, but immediately I leave the platform. A lot of things take my mind. So I don't know, maybe you can get across to me. I know you have my number because uh, my number has been placed on this platform several occasions. Get across to me. So maybe um, we can bring you on here because I love um, a lot of things you are doing. A lot of, in fact, mo most of your write-ups. Thank you very much. And I, I will also thank um, most of our brothers, our comrades who have been commenting, sharing the program, making sure that uh, the message is being passed to the enemy's doorstep itself. So thank you very much. Of course, this is Coastal Beaverton TV. We'll be here same time next week, Sunday, 5 p. P. Uh, uh, 4 p.m. Beaverton time, which is um, 5 p.m. European time. So stay tuned. So next week, Sunday. We'll see you again. Oh, he'll be a proud.